Hello guys, are you interested in how to build a dating app like Tinder and how much does it cost? Maybe you have an idea for a specific audience like vegans, bikers, gym members, or maybe you want to adopt the Tinder model with geolocation and create something like Tinder for golf players, travelers and so on. Watch this video till the end and you will learn how to make a dating app like Tinder step by step, understand Tinder pricing model and how to avoid making deadly mistakes in your startup. My name is Dennis Babich and I'm the founder and CEO of DB2 Limited, software consultancy and development. Let's start! The dating app market is an incredible opportunity for a startup to enter, because users are driven by their most basic human needs. This niche has become a market worth over $8 billion and it's growing every day. The most popular dating apps are Tinder, Badoo, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Match, Hinge, Grinder, and more. But how to make app like Tinder or a Tinder clone? Well, really most of these dating apps are pretty similar. They have got the same functionality, but use different solutions to set themselves apart. Each app is highly focused on the problems of their target audience to offer their users a unique dating experience. Maybe it's LGBTQ connections, woman making the first move, long-term relationship, or exciting and memorable dates. For a dating app to work, you just need to create an idea that appeals to a similar piece of the market. Done right, a successful kickoff can send your startup valuation into a few million dollars. Right, so let's go through this step-by-step -step guide to develop a dating app like Tinder. There are two key elements to Tinder's business model. You have a client app, for people to find a pair, and a web admin zone, which allows you to manage users, payments, disputes, etc. Inside the client app, you have functions like create profile, set up interests, find your pair, chats, swipes, and so on. I've added these functions to the table, so you can get an idea of the approximate hours your software engineers would need. Web admin zone allows you, as a business owner, to manage your users, payments, disputes, and many more. When it comes to pricing quotes, many people totally forget to include quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance, and risks. Look, guys, if you have an investor and a contract required on in-house development team, the dating app development costs are likely in line with the US or EU figures. But if you don't have these obligations, you can easily reduce your expenses without sacrificing the quality by developing your software in Ukraine. Many startups are getting incredible value by doing this. GitLab, Grammarly, Jubal and more are all developed in Ukraine by Ukrainian developers. It just makes sense to have your dating app development team in Ukraine. At the beginning, you should focus on a minimum viable product. Take just one core feature, for instance, geomatching and add the most common features like matching, swipes, chat, and so on. Your goal is to have value for money at this stage. Don't overdo it. Okay, so what's needed to build your MVP? There are 10 simple steps to follow in your software development process. To understand how Tinder revolutionized the dating world, let's take a look at their Lean Canvas business plan. This is critical when you want to know how to create a dating app like Tinder. Disruptive innovation is the key that helped Tinder rapidly overtake conventional dating sites. What is it all about? Tinder's development team pioneered this marketing move, which helps them save money on their MVP. But to create an exclusive feel similar to what Clubhouse did. But the Tinder didn't stop there. The Tinder app design had an innovative matching approach, so their users wouldn't be fluted with messages from people they don't know or don't like. The way the Tinder algorithm works connects users fast, based on first appearances. And this was pretty fantastic. Their swipe-based interface helps users find interesting partners without wasting time reviewing profiles in detail. You can use Tinder successfully in just 5 minutes a day. Now, Tinder's revenue model is primarily subscription-based, with a premium version. This allows paid users to give out more likes, use in, in anonymous mode, find matches worldwide, 
see who viewed their profile, boost your own profile and much more. Click the like button and subscribe on the channel if you're loving what you're hearing so far. Next we have the value proposition. Once you know how to create a dating app like Tinder, for a successful launch you need to get product market fit just right. Creating value propositions for your target audience, which means really understanding their biggest problems so you can build the best solution for each. One idea could be a Tinder-like application for golf. Golf membership makes this sport an inexpensive hobby, but many players are limited to playing with some partners again and again. Finding a new partner isn't easy and can be unpredictable, especially on their skill level. But what if you created an application that had all the local players? You could see their profile information, handicaps, businesses, and any other social info. So golfers could find and match with the right people, and you would transform this expensive golf club membership from a passive cost into a value-adding social asset, networking with investors, politicians and celebrities. Sounds cool, right? Another example could be a dating app like Tinder for musicians. Bringing a band together can be tough. You need to find singers, guitarists, drummers, piano players and many more to really create a powerful band. But finding the musicians who are a good fit can be a challenge. And it's incredibly time-consuming. Think of the breakthroughs an app like this would make in the entertainment business. You'd have more bands creating better quality music. All from an app that has a simple geolocation-based search, the ability to choose your musical instrument and preferred styles, and perhaps even the ability to demo audio or video tracks to showcase a musician's skills. If you have any questions, ideas or concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. I'm personally checking all comments and helping you with your questions because I really enjoy helping my audience achieve their goals. From what we've seen, there are two ways of building and publishing a successful dating application. You can start your own advertising campaign on Google, Facebook and other mobile ad networks and potentially waste your investment because your account might be flagged, restricted or even banned. Dating ads are very sensitive. Another way is to find the traffic experts who have been getting users onto dating apps for 5 to 10 years, know the ins and outs of the process and can tell you what it will cost and how much traffic to expect. There are some marketing communities like Warrior Forum, Affiliate Fix, Black Hat World, STM, where dating apps connect with specialists who can share their experience on growing and how to develop app like Tinder. So you know what your estimated customer acquisition cost will be and the amount of traffic they can generate. Be careful, this is a great method of ads, but it might help you. In the past, we managed to create five apps similar to Tinder. And if you're developing an app similar to Tinder's, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just copy the existing user flow. Companies like Tinder already spent millions of dollars on their standard flow. So do what the greatest artists are doing, just copy them. This helps your users quickly adapt to your platform, while you can put your focus on unique features that are really important for your audience. On top of that, you should also make a review of other competitors in the market like Badu, Hinge and others, because it will help you find unique and useful solutions for your business model. Just keep in mind that you have to focus your attention on real problems like new and easy ways of golf game scheduling. For instance, what should happen if both members scheduled a game in a golf club but they both doesn't have membership cards? Or how the confirmation system should work when you have to receive the booking confirmation from both players and from golf club simultaneously? Or how to create a system where one player can propose to another few dates for a game, a pre-booked those dates in a golf club at the same time? With story mapping, you can quickly select the must-have functionality to create your MVP fast and put your focus 
on functions that can be easily completed and quickly released. Minimum viable product is what you need. Expensive or complicated features like complex payment system, advertisement admin zone can be flagged for a later version of your product. Based on the value proposition research, you should create a wireframe map to organize your ideas into a basic flow and identify any missing user, cases or scenarios. For example, our Tinder-like app for golf players will contain basic use cases, swipes, chat, choosing a golf club, scheduling, missing use cases. For example, what should happen if none of your users have a membership in a particular golf club? Once you start thinking about how to build a dating app like Tinder, the key features is swipe functionality. You will need a large on-screen elements that are easy to use on the go and include all of your brand colors. By brand colors, we are talking about your entire brand identity. You need a short, memorable name, a straightforward logo and unique color set and an icon that's immediately recognizable. Once you start creating ads, these all need to showcase the unique value your app has to offer. It's important that your banners, images and video demonstrate how your app actually works. If you have taken the time to build an attractive UX design with good functionality, this can significantly increase the app's credibility, so more of your target audience download and install it. The software development approach is different from a classic business model, because you need to consistently update your app to satisfy the fast-changing needs of your market. But the wrong and sophisticated technology stack may lead you to a problem where you can change your developer fast. A painfully slow user interface, hard to maintain a non-scalable cloud infrastructure, expensive and sophisticated technology stack, unstable system synchronization, issues with payment processing, cloud infrastructure that goes offline easily as traffic spikes. In the case of a dating app like Tinder without code, you have to choose the right tech stack at the beginning to be able to develop your minimum viable product fast. Using a proper tech stack like Flutter for iOS and Android helps you to have the same code base for mobile and Python, Django, Node.js, Amazon Web Services for the backend will help you create your MVP fast. Keep in mind that third-party services would also help you make things faster. Tools like Twilio for SMS, Stripe for payments, SendGrid for emails, and so on. You should never use hyped or sophisticated technologies such as PHP, Ruby, or Perl for dating apps, because it would be the wrong way which will lead you to a failure. Right tech stack? It's like a proper diagnosis after a blood test. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable and you know someone who may be interested to watch, please take a moment now and send them the link. The key benefit of an agile process is speed, but agile can also decrease your speed up to 30%. So what do you need to do? Picture this. You have a small team of five developers and everyone knows their own tasks, communication flow and code. Developers can make code updates easily because they have a deep knowledge of the product, no bureaucracy at this stage. Simple tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs, short meetings and simple reports are enough for effective software development and communication. But imagine your company is growing and you have a team of 15 developers. At this stage, you might face problems such as your developers may leave the team, onboarding new people becomes increasingly complex, productivity failing, issues with developers' communications, delivery and deadline issues, problems with code quality and architecture. In order to solve these issues, you have to assign a tech lead to oversee the team, hire a project manager to oversee the project, implement Scrum, Sprint, Backlog, Retrospective, organize daily stand-ups, use advanced task management tools like Jira. After all this, you shouldn't overtook the importance of analytics. Analytics tools such as Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase, Mix Panels allow you to measure the number of visits, user behaviors, analyze user sessions, etc. All these analytics tools would help you to have a real-time health check of your software and you would be able to make the right decisions regarding your software development updates. Okay, 
If you're interested in how to build a dating app like Tinder, click the link below to book a 30 minutes call with me. And let's talk about turning your business idea into a winner. See ya!